Good morning, Warriors! Back with another episode of Vigor Warriors 2 and the 1% Club. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, time for the battle cry. Time to get into conquesting yourself and conquesting others, people around you, to make sure that you're living the best life possible for our God and make sure that you guys are doing the best you can to do everything you can to be the best person you can be. So, thank you guys again for your comments. Uh, once again, just wonderful comments, all kinds of things that I appreciate the likes, I appreciate the um, uh, suggestions, the ideas, all good. Uh, even if there's things that you don't like, that's great. I know some people don't like my screaming and yelling, but I do it as a battle cry, and I uh, those people have to kind of understand that we need, this is a battle, my friends. This is a battle. And you may not realize it, but it is a battle. They're trying to take you over. They're trying to make you demascul demasculating the males in our society. And we need to start standing up. And we got to go back to the way we were in this in this situation, at least. The way we were is the men of the world to be able to be protected, to protect, to provide, and be strong. All right. Anyway, a couple of shout outs out before we start our topic. Uh, let's go to a little bit of these. Uh, Will Nautical, thank you, my friend. Israel Yuda, thank you. Uh, create, heal, inspire, thank you. Energy, inside 3D, I appreciate it, Willem. Uh, Neonar94, uh, I know you say I'm too loud, my friend. It's our battle cry, we gotta have that, but I'll try to warn ahead of time when I do that. Usually it's the beginning and the end. Uh, Matt Yoder, uh, Just Me, Tony Plessy, uh, Plessy. Uh, Daniel Smith, I Lion, uh, Martian Doll, Doug J, TKO, my friend. And John Jennings. And so we'll kind of stop there. But thank you guys for your comments. And at the two-minute mark, let us talk talk about our topic here. So the topic's name, and this comes from uh, Martin, uh, Joachim Nielsen, uh, Charles, a number of people, um, talking about, and I'm, I'm going to uh, kind of term this one, they, will, they may be confused at times, but they will follow your lead. What I'm talking about is women, of course. We're talking about women and semen retention. And this is a topic you guys like to talk about a lot, so I kind of bring it up every so often. We try to do a bunch of different ones, but I want to try to go back to this every so often because I know this is important to people. And, and Warriors, I know it's important because you're trying to kind of do that balance between finding companionship, finding somebody with yourself in your life. You don't want to be lonely. But also you don't want to release and make yourself weak because that to many women is a weakness. Not being a self-control man who's in control, who kind of dictates and leads, a lot of women want that. Now the thing is that you want those type of women, feminine types of women who are acting in a feminine role. You're a masculine, they're a feminine. This is what the God has intended, in my opinion at least. Obviously there's a lot of people out there who may disagree with me on this, but that's the way... I believe it should be. And what I've experienced with semen retention over the last 1,060 days or whatever it's been is the fact that females react unbelievably to your energy. Again, yesterday and every day, it just seems like there's so much attention, different attention than I get used to get in the past. And I'm a 61-year-old guy, my friend. My friends, 61-year-old, almost 62 in June. And we're talking about still, I'm getting this type of attention. I can just imagine you guys running around at 20 years old, 25, 30 years old. It's incredible. Now, I wish I had, I, I wish I knew some of this, uh, but I didn't really get into the Fountain of Youth stuff and Keller stuff until I was my mid to late 30s. But if I would have known this stuff back in the 20s, man, oh man. You know, it, it's amazing to me how much difference it makes. And I think it's because it's a biological and a subconscious type of thing. I don't think females even know a lot of times how they're reacting. But it is a matter of respect. Now, you're gonna get different sides. And we've talked about this before. We did one on intimidation before. And they, people will be intimidated by you. There's some, some people who just do not handle it. Now, I don't know if you call it intimidation. I know Charles was talking about respect. And I think that's probably a better word to use. But the idea, my friends, is that people will respect you. They, they will feel sometimes uncomfortable. And women now, let's focus on the women, not just the men in the reaction here. Women will be confused. 
they don't know how to handle your energy. There's going to be times, and we've had this many of your testimonies already talking about this, that many of the uh, females may at times be mad at you, angry. They don't know how to handle what they're looking at. And so they try different types of things to deal with this, but they can't. And so you'll see situations where a female will be mad at you, and I've had this happen to me. Even once, even though I'm married, I have all these other females in their 20s, 30s, whatever it might be, and they're all reacting the same way. There's times they're just mad, and I have no clue why they're mad, right? And we're not talking about people I'm even close to. And I think we had a couple of testimonies on this as well, the same thing. I'm not even close to any of these, these people, and they're mad at me. Then the next minute, they're sitting there staring with their headlights, almost like a deer in headlights. Because they're willing then to, to help you, do things for you, because they cannot avoid this, this. Now, what they're trying to do is avoid their nature. And this is what this is what we talked about. This is the last, one of the last, I think it was the last episode. Yeah, they wanted to actually go ahead and they want to get away from their nature. They want to say, no, I'm not going to be attracted to this for whatever reason, but they can't help themselves. People can't help themselves. People are attracted to high-level, strong men who have energy because that's what God intended. Because those are the men who are leaders. Those are the men that's going to be protectors and providers in our society. And that's happened over and over again. And I don't care what kind of thing society we think we live in, changing roles, all this kind of all that nonsense, that's biological. That's the way God intended it. And if you start messing up with that, all of a sudden you start looking, you start talking about Frankenstein scenarios. And you're talking about AI scenarios. And those things are dangerous and God will, God will come back on all those people who think they can become God. As I told uh, friends of mine, you're either, you're either God yourself or you have faith and deep belief in God. And obviously the latter is more preferable because you'll go down the wrong path if you think you're God. And I think people who have high egos and people who uh, get themselves in trouble all the time, they have narcissistic attitudes, they think they're God. And we, we brainwash people into this over the years because of the media, because of everything else, beauty and looking how look people look and you know all these things, they, they're worth nothing. The energy level inside of you makes you look attractive. I don't care who you are. And that's the energy level you have because you're retaining and you're in self-control. You're not person out of control. You're person in control. And anybody can tell you that that makes a big difference. That's highly attractive. Now, it is going to be confusing, again, as I said. But those people, and we're talking about women here when it comes to men, and, we, and women know this from the other side of it, too, because men will do anything. They may get angry, confused, but they will do anything for a woman. And the same thing happens the other way around. And when two people are together, submissive, this is great. Both people are submitting. But when you have people who have this high level of energy, there's people out there, male, female, they're, they're, they're ready to help, but they will be confused. They can't handle this energy. It is overpowering. Now, you can't always tell this because you have the power. It's changed, but you can tell the difference in reactions from people. People will react differently to you. So some of you guys are just starting off, it's 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. Just look at the reaction people have of you and towards you. They will become a lot more friendlier. They will be interested in you. They'll be willing to do anything with you. They'll be, they'll be willing to uh, go to lunch with you. They'll be willing to open doors for you. They'll be willing to give you presents because they have such a good feeling. And guys, when it comes down to women, what I've learned over these 61 years is really what they're, they're looking for is how they feel when they're with you. And this energy, they feel unbelievable. Uh, one person the other day, they just couldn't stop smiling. And I'm sitting there, it's kind of awkward sometimes. And some of you guys have talked about this. It's kind of awkward. Because this person's just smiling and staring and looking right in your eyes. And it's almost like they're hypnotized. I go back to the, the crazy Dracula movies with my, my uh, old uh, guy that I used to like watching, Bell Lugosi. And he used to be able to hypnotize people with the eyes. Christopher Lee used to do that too in the Hammer movies. And you wonder, oh, is this really real? This is just kind of made up crap, right? Well, there is some truth to the fact 
that if you have that kind of energy, I'm, I'm going to assume that Dracula and these guys live in 150 years, not not releasing. <laughs> I'm guessing that's the case. I could be joking about that. Probably am joking about that. But if you're not releasing for 150 years or whatever it is, 300 years, can you imagine that freaking power that person's got? Unbelievable. And so that's why you can tell that that person would be very strong in hypnotizing a person. So that person would couldn't probably couldn't even move because they're so hypnotized. Now, obviously, you got to think to yourself, what it, what is this worth? Now, Dracula's case, he was trying to you know trying to obviously <laughs> feed on people. You're not going to do that. But the thing is, you got people who are going to be angry in one minute. And they're going to be just kind of staring, admiring, and they don't know what to do half the time. And that's why it's important, warriors, to be these strong men of leadership and, and have things to do. If you're with somebody you care about, you're going to take their hand and you're going to lead them. And that woman will follow you because they want to be with you. Because they love the feeling they're with when they see you. And that's what matters. A lot of women are emotional creatures. Not that men are not, but women especially focus a lot on emotion. And if they like who they are, how they feel when they're with you, they'll never leave you. And that's the kind of thing we're talking about. They have to feel, they have to feel like they're alive. They feel like they're strong emotions that they see with you. And they understand that. So when you're on retention and you're a man of control, you exert this, this power that's unbelievable. And because of that, all of a sudden you get people attracted. Now, like I said, they get mad, get mad at you at times. That's happened to me many times. I mean, even people I don't even know that well get upset. Because I'm not doing this or doing that. But what it really comes down to is that there are so many people that become attracted to you that you can't obviously pay attention to everybody. They're going to be upset with you. But they're confused because they don't know what to do. They don't know how to handle this emotion. And it's overwhelming, not only for you to have so much of it, but to others as well. So try a test, Warriors, someday. Look at, look at how people are reacting to you. And I guarantee you, you'll notice a difference between when you started this journey and now where you're at. And as time goes on, you'll see a, a more pronounced difference as time goes on because it really comes down to the fact that you're building your energy, you're transmuting it, it's going all through your body, and you're this big fire glow that people get sucked into because it's just a, a huge magnet of energy. Now, is it biological? I think we have one going on this. I think it's uh, one of these topics that we talk about. I think someone brought it up and it was a really good... Uh, a good thing. Uh, oh, we 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 brought it up. Is it? Do you feel? Does women feel your energy or the biology? And I think it's some of both. I think part of the energy they feel is because of the biological nature. They can't resist from biological nature. And men can't do the same thing. They can't resist the idea that you are a person who has your the seed. The you have this. Okay, that's important. All right, my friends. Enough for this today. Hope you guys are going to have a great day. Hope my warriors are keeping in what you need to do. And also keep a track of your conquesting and all those type of things as well. All right, remember two things, guys, before we take off. First, every day is a new day to a great warrior. And second, don't forget to...